This video explains how to get the day of a week corresponding to a daytime object in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the daytime module, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we need to create an example daytime object using the datetime constructor, as you can see in the second code box. So after running this line of code, a new datetime object is created, which is called myDatetime. And we can print this datetime below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our example date and time is the 3rd of August 2021 at 4.48 p.m. Now let's assume that we want to return the weekday of this daytime object. Then we can apply the weekday function to our datetime object, as you can see in the next line of code. And in this case, I'm storing the output of the weekday function in a new data object that I'm calling my weekday one. And then I'm printing this data object below the code box. And then you can see that the number one is returned. So the number one is the number of the day in the week of our daytime object. Alternatively to that, we can use the ISO weekday function, as you can see in the next line of code. And as in the previous lines of code, I'm creating a new data object that I'm calling my weekday two in this case. And then I'm printing the content of this data object below the code box. So in this case, you can see that the number two is returned. And the reason why these numbers differ is that the weekday function starts counting from zero and the ISO weekday function starts counting from one. So we can compare these numbers by returning the name of the weekday of our daytime object. And we can do that using the strift time function, as you can see in the next line of code. And within the strift time function, we have to specify percentage sign A. And then I'm storing the output of the strift time function in another data object that I'm calling my weekday three. And I'm printing this weekday object below the code box. And then you can see that our example date, the 3rd of August, 2021 is a Tuesday. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.